So it's the next day. I didn't end up making my pies last night, but I figured I have to do it today because this is the pastry and it's been thawing in the fridge for a couple of days, so I have to use it. Plus we're having company tomorrow night for dinner, so I figured this is the perfect time to make these pies. So I've never made a pie before. I'm going to be using my new Bravel pie maker, which is right here. It's heating up right now, and then I've got an instruction booklet that is giving me a few ideas on how to make the filling. I have frozen berries, which I thawed in the microwave, and it is suggesting sugar, flour, vanilla, bean paste. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use lemon instead, and I wanted to use cinnamon, but I can't find any. I think scratch the cinnamon. And I probably wouldn't put sugar in these if I was just making them for myself, but since we're having company, I'm going to use sugar because they'll probably taste awful if I don't have sugar. So I'm going to open this up first because I have to cut it to size. big pastry at all. This is not going to make four. Let's see how big it is. That is definitely not going to make four. That's going to make like two. And I don't even know how big. I wonder. Take a glass. Yeah, about, about a little bit bigger than the size of the glass. Looks like these ramekins are about the right size. Yes, they're perfect! Okay, so I'm going to cut out... I should not be wearing jewelry. Because I think it looks better. Okay, there's one. Two. So you need like two for each pie that you make because one for the top and one for the bottom. This isn't really cutting all that well. It's giving me the shape. I was able to get five circles. And then what I'm going to do is put the dough together and make one more circle. So at least I can make three pies. And then I guess if these turn out okay, maybe I will make new ones for tomorrow. And this pastry that I'm using. It's like a President's Choice Butter Puff Pastry and these things come with two rolls. So I thawed one. So now we know for next time we need two. I'm just going to set this aside actually while I mix up the berry mixture. This is ready to go so we're all good once we're ready. So I've got my berries. I'm going to put them in here. I think I'm using whole wheat flour because I always bake with that just to get like a bit of a healthier element. So one and two of the sugar, or three of the sugar, but I'm only going to use two because sugar is bad. While I'm using pre-made pie crust. I think lemon just adds kind of a nice citrusy aspect to pie even though I really like a sweet pie, I think, I don't know, it's kind of nice to add that citrus in. I'm not really sure why because I'm not a huge lemon fan, but I love it. So now I'm going to finish up with these. Got the berry mixture good to go. This is like sticky. I'm going to take my rolling pin and just roll out the remaining amount of dough. There's definitely more than, there's more than enough here to get one. There we go. This one's a little bit thicker, but I'm going to open this up and I'm going to start putting the pies in. This is super hot. Oh, it seems like these circles are a little bit small for, I'm going to stretch them out a little bit make sure that they kind of come out of the oh god this is hard this is actually harder than I thought it would be 
because the pie is kind of like sinking in. Thingy. The thingy. Yeah. That's good. And then I'm just going to take a, a spoon and scoop in this berry mixture. It says a third of a cup for each one, but I think that's actually going to be too much. So I'm not going to do that much. I'm just doing two big scoops. They're already kind of sizzling. I still have a bunch of leftover berries. From there, I'm going to take this and put it on top. Oh, so neat. And another one. The last one. And then we're going to shut the lid for 8 to 12 minutes and let them cook. It's only been about four minutes and they are already done. So I just kind of heard them sizzling and I checked on them and I was like, whoa, those are browning really quickly. It says you want to pull them out with a spatula. So I'm going to use this little rubber one. Two of the pies have kind of cooked together, so I'm just splitting them. Oh my god, you guys, they look really good. I'm gonna grab just a little serving plate to put them on. A second spatula. I unplugged the pie maker as soon as I realized they were getting too done. These look awesome! Look at that! They look so cute! A success, I think. So here are the pies. They are so cute and mini and I'm going to eat them right after I have my dinner and I will come back and let you know how they were. Give this pie a try. I took the one that was like of medium cooked doneness. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Kind of reminds me of like a toaster strudel. comment down below. I never thought of doing that before. And I'll see you guys in the next one.